Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what terms are in algebraic expressions. So this will be an introduction to terms. Now simply put, terms are the parts that make up an expression. Terms can be numbers, variables, or a combination of both. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction signs. In order to better understand terms, let's start by looking at some examples. Now I mentioned numbers can be terms, so some examples would be 8, 100, or negative 17. And it's as simple as that as far as numbers go. When we just have a number as a term, we call these constants or constant terms because their value doesn't change. It remains constant. Next, we have variables. Some examples would be x, a, and g cubed. Terms can involve exponents, so something to keep in mind. Now, the value of variables can vary. The value can change. For example, x can equal 5, 30, or whatever the case may be in the given algebraic expression. And then lastly, we can have a combination of numbers and variables. For example, 2x. So a number times a variable, 2 times x. Or negative 14z. So a negative times a variable, negative 14 times z. We can even have variables times variables. For example, xy, x times y, or more than two variables. For example, x, y, z, so x times y times z. We can also have numbers, variables, and exponents. So something like 7 a b to the power of 4. So 7 times a times b to the power of 4. Or another example would be negative 21 x squared. So negative 21 times x squared. And my last example is x over 4. So x divided by 4. Now keep in mind, this can be rewritten using multiplication. x over 4 is equivalent to 1 fourth x, or 1 fourth times x. So just something to be aware of. I also want to mention that a number in front of a variable or multiple variables is called a coefficient. For example, for 2x, 2 is the coefficient. For negative 14z, negative 14 is the coefficient. Now all of those are examples of terms. Remember, terms are separated by addition or subtraction signs. Let's move on to numbers 1 and 2 on the right side of the screen where we will identify terms in the algebraic expression. So we're going to put this all together. Let's start with number 1 where we have 14x plus 3. Now again, terms are separated by either addition or subtraction. So let's look for parts of the expression that are separated by addition or subtraction. For example, we have 14x and then an addition sign. So 14x is a part or term of this expression. We then have that addition sign that we mentioned and then a 3. So 3 is our second term, and that's a positive 3. A term will take the sign of whatever is in front of it. We have an addition sign, so that three is positive. So we have 14x and three, two terms in that expression. Let's move on to number two, where we have seven AB to the power of five minus two B plus 19. So let's look for the terms, the parts of this expression, starting with seven AB to the power of five. That's followed by a subtraction sign so this is our first part or term, 7ab to the power of 5. We then have that subtraction sign and 2b. So this is our second part or term. And remember, 
it takes the sign that's in front. So this is a negative 2b. That's our second term. And then lastly, we have plus 19. So an addition sign and then 19. So 19, a positive 19, is the last term. So this expression has three terms, 7ab to the power of 5, negative 2b, and 19. Now one thing I do want to mention about subtraction and negatives is something you can do to an expression to make it a little simpler to identify any negatives and terms in general, and that's to make everything addition. So what we can do, we can separate all of the terms only by addition, and we do this by rewriting all subtraction as adding the opposite. For example, let's rewrite number two using addition to separate the terms. So we need to find any subtraction and rewrite that as adding the opposite. We are subtracting 2b, so subtracting a positive 2b. So we need to add the opposite. So add negative 2b. Adding negative 2b is equivalent to subtracting positive 2b. So let's rewrite this expression down below. 7ab to the power of 5 plus negative 2b plus 19. Both of those expressions are equivalent. The terms are still the same. 7ab to the power of 5, negative 2b, and 19. So again, that's a strategy you can use to turn everything to addition and separate the terms that way. The benefit is that all of the terms will only be separated by addition. Therefore, it's a little simpler to identify all of the terms, especially the negative ones. So there you have it. There's an intro to terms in algebraic expressions. Just keep it simple. Terms are the parts of algebraic expressions separated by addition or subtraction signs. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.